dear student today i'm going to take the topic of priority queue so uh, this topic belongs to the uh, subject of um, <coughs> data structure so first what is priority queue so the priority uh, queue is same as the uh, the queue uh, queue uh, but what is the difference between the queue and uh, priority queue the priority queue consists of a uh, each and every element has a individual priority with itself based on the priority it will be processed so uh, but uh, the queue has no priority so this is the main difference between the queue and the uh, priority queue okay so here Uh, the priority queue is an abstract data type that behaves similarly to the normal queue so it behaves like a normal queue uh, except each element has some priority so uh, that is the element with the highest priority would come first in a priority queue so the element which come first in the uh, priority queue okay the priority element in the uh, priority queue will determine the order in which elements are removed from the priority queue so first entering element enter into the um, first uh, uh, first will be removed um, so uh, here uh, so this is the example for the 1 3 4 8 14 and 22 there are six element exist in the uh, priority queue so uh, this element are uh, arranged in the form of ascending order first one is entered and it will be processed the 22 is the lowest priority it will be um, processed in the last one okay so uh, the character what are the character exist in the uh, priority queue uh, so the character means first um, each and every element has a individual priority with itself uh, based on the priority it will be processed after the processing it will be removed so the first entering element the first pre, uh, first priority will give the uh, first processed after that it will be removed first also okay so uh, if the two element has the same priority uh, here see that uh, two element in a priority queue have the same priority uh, so they will be arranged using fifo principles uh, so fifo first uh, um first in first out principles okay so this is the one of the example so in this queue consist of a six element the one is the first entering into the uh, queue the 22 is the last entering into the queue so here uh, the least element is the uh, highest priority and the uh, highest value element is a um, least priority okay so uh, now uh, we move to the types of priority queue there are two different type of uh, priorities are exist in the queue one is the ascending order priority and descending order priority ascending order priority means what is the ascending order um, <coughs> ascending order means uh, here there are five element axis 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, so it will be arranged in the ascending order so first the minimum uh, lowest element is entered first okay the highest element is entered the last so this type of uh, uh, priority queue is called as a ascending order priority queue uh, here this is another one example so this uh, priority queue consists of five element itself so the first two is the least element it uh, the element with the highest priority here the 11 is the highest value it will be processed in the lowest highest priority okay so this type of queue is called as a um, ascending order priority queue so descending order priority queue means so uh, the uh, queue is arranged in the form of backward uh, 5 4 3 2 1 okay so uh, the phi is a uh, highest number it will be um, uh, it will be give the highest priority it will enter into the queue and process then it will be removed the first so the least element one uh, so this element will be removed la uh, last uh, processed last and removed will be last so this type of uh, uh, key, uh, priority queue will cause called as a uh, descending order priority queue here the 10 9 8 7 6 so these are there are five element exist in this queue the high 10 is the highest priority um, highest uh, element 
okay where the value is the highest compared to other element so it will be uh, highest priority the 6 is the lowest number um, uh, compared to other element so it will be processed last so this type of queue is called as a descending order priority queue mm, so in a representation of priority queue in a representation it will it consist of a three part one is the information the elements uh, numbers uh, the elements are exist in the information part pnr means the priority link means uh, one uh, node is connected to another node okay so uh, here there are four data structure used to represent the priority queue array linked list heap data structure and binary such tree so these are the four different data structures okay so uh, this is the uh, when we implement the data structure so uh, this is the uh, formula for adding removing and peak the element okay then heap what is heap there are two different type of uh, heap exist one is a min uh, heap the another one is a max heap heap means a, a tree based data structure that form a complete binary tree uh, satisfy the heap property so uh, here Uh, so this is a max heap the max heap means uh, this is the root node uh, um, uh, so the root node has the highest value compared to other element in the uh, tree uh, so the uh, here there are two child uh, the 45 has a two child 30 and 40 so these are less than the um, the two child has the less than the parent uh, then 30 it has a uh, 20 and 10 uh, this is the values less than 30 so um, this type of uh, tree uh, structure uh, the root node is a highest uh, compared to other child nodes okay so this type of uh, uh, binary tree is called as a max heap the min heap means the root node is a less value compared to its child for example here uh, 5 is the root node there are two binary uh, structure 6 and 7 so which are uh, greater than the root node same as 6 is the uh, parent node the it consists of a two um, child 8 and 9 uh, which are uh, higher than the uh, root node 6 so li likewise uh, all the elements are uh, higher than the root node so this type of uh, uh, heap uh, structure is called as a minimum heap okay student today i uh, take the uh, topic of the um, <coughs> uh, topic of the uh, priority queue if you have any kind of doubt please kindly uh, give your question in the comment section i will clear your doubt thank you student